time now for your business news. Rupiwa Madzena joining us. Sir Rupiwa, hi again. More South Africans joining the ranks of the unemployed. And this is the highest uh, stats, 34.4, expanded def definition 44% plus. But it's the highest we've had since actually this quarter survey has been uh, in place. Mm -hmm, that's right. So imagine between the period they're talking about here is April to June, 534,000 people lost their jobs. So it's a very, very staggering situation that we're in. Setting. It's a big story we're tracking this afternoon. The fact that South Africa has to create about 600,000 jobs a year just to stop the chronic jobless rate from rising to new record highs. That's the word from one economist who says the anemic economic um, the um, anemic uh, economy rather isn't keeping up with the growing job hungry population statistics South Africa says the country's unemployment rate for this period reached a record 34.4 percent that's 7.8 million jobless South Africans now the figure swells to just under 12 million when those who have stopped looking for work are added nearly two of South Africans aged between 15 and 24 are now employed. Economist Kevin Ling says if government doesn't loosen the labor laws, improve the infrastructure and create a better business conditions faster, the problem will worsen. So what you need is you need much more private sector investment. And that investment has to be across the board. It has to be in every single sector. It has to be in small business, business medium business. It has to be in technology. The whole areas that we're simply not investing and we haven't been investing for some time. We equally have this difficulty with our infrastructure. The electricity is the obvious one and we're trying to do something about that now. But without appropriate infrastructure, again, we're going to struggle to get that investment. So to me, the main thing we're doing wrong is we're not encouraging private sector investment enough. There is an element of encouraging it, but we've got to do way more. It's a matter, it's an absolute disaster as far as I'm concerned. Of course, young people are the biggest losers in South Africa's labor market. According to Stats SA, the second quarter figures, nearly two-thirds of those aged between 15 and 24 are unemployed, and 42.9% of those are aged 25 to 34. About 3.4 out of 10.2 million young people aged 15 to 24 years have not been in employment, education or training in the reporting period. A youth employment advocacy group says there is no silver bullet, but we do need the power of a collective outcome. I think it, it is the role of the employers that need to make sure the young people understand what skills are needed in the market. But I think similarly, you know, we need organizations that work with young people to also assist young people in understanding that, you know, when you do this kind of work, this is the skill that you're actually acquiring. This is how you can articulate that skill. But I think additionally, there is definitely room for government to also play a role um, just in terms of you know, our education system, for instance, and making sure that our people are in school while they're at TV colleges, they really have an understanding of the skills that they are acquiring.